Hello, I welcome you once again to Percentage. Today on Percentage, I will be deliberating extensively on the root problems of intrapersonal relationships. From careful study, observations and research, I was able to trace some of these problems to the forces in the environment, forces such as politics, traditions, customs, and religion. In a way, these forces have perverted so many minds. Some have lost their self-worth, self-esteem. Some become bigotry and cynical in nature. What the environment presented to some of us were what we believe were right. And in most cases, they are not right. For example, this had become our experience, our knowledge, our beliefs, our values, and triggers some of our actions. So when you see somebody committing fornication, or when you see a rapist, or when you see a prostitute, or when you see someone who could not stay in a husband's house, or when you see a man who is jumping from one woman to another, you can only trace this back to their foundations. The information that were passed across to them that they believed and were running with. So in most cases, we judge people by their actions. And that is why we have not been able to combat these problems. But to, today, I will talk on how we can combat all these forces. What are the tools that we can use to actually fight all these forces to be better in our relationships and in our marriage? Number one, you need to change your source of information. The information of yesterday is who you have become today. You need to change your source of information. Number two, you need to change your mindset. You need to change your thinking the way a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Number three, you need to get credible and reliable information. You need it. Your life can only thrive on good and quality and credible information. And of course, information is the life wire of transformation. But it doesn't stop there. When you get credible information. You need to comprehend that information. And the next thing you need to think about is to act on that information. When you act on the information, I believe what you do consistently for 21 days will form a habit inside of you and the habit becomes your character and that character becomes your personality. And your personality is what people see. And of course, by their fruit, you shall know them. Thereafter, after this, you need to give yourself or get yourself a new dream. Dream big. Dream new dreams. Dream beautiful future that you believe can make your life meaningful. That you believe can make your relationship meaningful and better that you believe can make your marriage beautiful and better and finally finally that i'm going to talk about today is that when you dream new dreams write them down write all these dreams down so that one after the other you can begin to run with these dreams and before you know what is happening your life will be meaningful, your life will be credible, and your life will become great influence and positive influence to everyone around you. The vision is for an appointed time. It may tarry. It's just in a matter of time and season. It will surely come to pass. You will become that vision. Hope to see you on board. Thank you.